afternoon good evening or good morning wherever you are watching me right now i'm just greeting you according to your time zone my name is chris and you're welcome to chris digitals so today i want to show you guys something that i have started using um it is from my samsung note syncing it to my one note so i used to use samsung note a lot when i um, started using samsung um, android um, phones and uh, i've been an android lover for a long time okay um, the apple guys um, out there don't hate me for that it's just uh, we have different preferences okay anyway so i've been using samsung note for some time and i really like it but they didn't have enough features for me then that um the one note um you um has so i started using one note a lot and i have familiarized myself uh, no, enough with one note and i really like what one note has to offer but i recently went back to samsung note and i discovered that i can do uh, more stuff on samsung note because they've added more stuff on it and um i was really excited about it so i started using it again that doesn't mean i'm going to stay away from um one note um, actually it's it's going to help me with a lot of things that i do so now i can sync my samsung note into my one note without um you know sharing or without sending stuff to my email and reminding me and copying and pasting none of that all i have to do is sync my one uh, samsung note to my one note and i'm good to go so let me show you guys an example of what i've already done and then i'll show you how to get this on your um one note as well okay so if you're using samsung notes or samsung phones this should work for you but if you're using other android products i'm not sure i have not really gone in details with with that but um, you can try it so long as you have Samsung Note on your Samsung device, you should be able to, you know, get this connected or sync to your OneNote. All right. All right. Let me show you what I've done. So what you will notice is that if you go on, on this icon on your OneNote, so open your OneNote. I just want to show you something. So right here on my OneNote, when I click on open feed, so this is what it is and it's going to show me my um samsung note so you can see here there is a new one that just came here all right and here it's going to show me all my one my samsung notes that i have okay right here so what i can do also i can switch i can take this i can drag this down if i want to all right so when i click on this i can just drag it and i can put it right here okay so this is something I can I can use for my OneNote as well. This came from my Samsung, as you can see, it says Samsung here. And if you also look at the drop down here, you will see it has Samsung Notes and Sticky Notes. For those of you who use Sticky Notes, you will see that here. For example, if I go on my, um, let me just write something on my Sticky Notes, and it's going to appear right here. All right, let me open this sticky note and I'll show you what I mean. So if I go on my sticky note and I can just type in, I'm on my phone right now. So I'm going to type in hello. And you guys can see it like that. It's happening in real time. Okay. So to show you guys that I'm not typing it on my computer, I'm going to open my screen. Let me see if I can find that screen. Going to open this screen and I'm going to go to my OneNote. I'm going to erase this. So, this is my phone screen right here. Okay, I'm going to go here and I'll erase this. See, it's erasing in real time from here to here. I'm going to type Happy New Year. And in real time, it's appearing on my feed on my notes so this is coming from my phone my sticky notes okay so if i want to do that on my samsung notes since we're talking about samsung note let me do that on my samsung note so here are my samsung note let me write something new so i open the new um, page and i'm going to type in um, how are you doing
okay so i'm gonna close that i'm gonna go back and just close this and see what happens when i go to my to my samsung notes right here it just appeared right how are you doing that's what i just typed let me drag it here so you guys can see it so that's what i just typed how are you doing okay so in real time i can adjust this as well i can make it big i can make it small i can make it part of the background just like that okay so this is interesting for those of you who use samsung note and you use your sticky note now you can sync everything from your samsung note onto your um one notes and you can use it as as um as often as you want to use it and then as um, many times you want to do it you can do that and you can use it to do whatever you want to do on your one notes okay i'm trying to figure out ways i can use it for uh, for um uh what they call it i'm um, planning and um digital planners and stuff like that i'm hoping that there will be more features on this so we can have something like you know linking pages from one um section to the next section and pages like that so i'm hoping this will be something interesting and something new for us this year and i'm going to show you guys now how you can get that on your um you can sync your your one on um, your samsung notes to your one note so many notes in here okay so let's get started so i'm going to open a new let me just open this a new page so this is all clean and clear for you guys all right so the first thing you're going to do let me open my one note let me open my phone so the first thing you want to do if you have if you have um, a samsung phone or device open your your samsung notes open your samsung notes okay so my mine is right here so i'm going to open my samsung notes and when you open that you want to go to this um navigation drawer right here so you click on that it's going to open this list so right now i have my um, folders you can make a lot of folders with this i'm going to do a separate videos on how to create folders on this stuff and sub folders you can create I, I don't know probably endless sub folders you can just keep going and you know it's it, it's a lot of folders you can create and that's what i like also about this and you can also have lock notes right here you can see i can lock my notes i can um do my favorites you know i can import my old notes my uh, old format notes here and i can just you know like i said you can create and manage a lot of folders here all right so let's go to settings so this is where the settings is okay so you go to settings and if you haven't done this before this is how yours is going to look it's going to be um off so you want to toggle this one that says sync to microsoft OneNote. okay that's the one you want to toggle on all right hopefully your samsung is already um toggled on is already on and you want to make sure it is um you've signed up like you've signed in to your samsung notes and you want to also sign in to your microsoft one notes all right so you're going to toggle this on and when it's on then you can click on it okay just click on where it says sync to microsoft one notes click on that and it's going to open here so while we're here you will see sync now you see folders to sync and all this stuff if you want to sync while roaming you can do that i'm not going to do that because i don't have to roam so what you can do you can just click sync now while you are here it doesn't hurt anything i just like to do that and now you're going to go to your folders to sync and click on that and you're going to make sure everything here if it's not synced if it's like that you want to make sure all of them are turned on okay you can turn everything on okay and then you go back when you go back you click on sync now again i just like to do that you don't maybe you don't have to do it the first time but i like to do it to be safe so you click on sync now now everything in the folders you selected will be synced onto your one note okay so that's how you do it all right so now that it's synced you can go back to your one note on your computer all right and you will see this that says um this icon here that says open feed so when you click on that everything that you have will be synced into um your OneNote. so let me open that again 
So right now it's going to give you the um, the symbol that it's going to be syncing right here. So it's doing the, the syncing thing, the merry-go-round thing. <laughs> so right now you're going to go down and you can find everything you've, you've synced into your OneNote. So that's how you do it. All right. I'm, I'm going to do a detailed video on your on your Samsung Note for those of you who are interested in it. But now you can have the best of both worlds, um, Samsung Note and um, OneNote on your computer and you can sync stuff in there. Okay, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also share this video, okay? It's going to help me out and I want to thank every one of you who have been doing this faithfully, um, sharing it and liking my videos and you guys are really doing great. You guys are trying you know you guys are trying your best for me and i'm trying to give you guys the content that i have and hopefully we can pass 1000 subscribers this year i was stuck at 500 and 20 something for a long time so please share this video and if you just like to watch my videos and you haven't subscribed please try and subscribe to my video okay it doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe on on youtube also, if you want to join the Facebook group, you can click the link in the description. It will take you to my Facebook group. And when you click to, to join, I will approve you as soon as I see your notification. Also, click on the notification bell so you can get um, notified every time I post new videos on my channel. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, let me know and have a blessed new year. God bless. Bye-bye.